going on everyone hawks 21 here back with another splinterlands video so peak monsters just tweeted out a tool that they have that i had never seen before it's a process that i had done manually uh sort of calculator in my head plenty of times but i didn't realize it was automated um, and i never really talked about this because i didn't have an easy way to do it but now that i do i want to show you how you can get sort of I don't want to say cheap, but relatively cheap gold cards compared to their regular foil. And if you're lucky, you might actually find one where you can get a whatever level gold uh, gold foil you need for cheaper than the regular foil would actually cost. But before I get into all that, I am Hawks21. I cover Splinterlands almost every single day. Uh, if you are new here, I public I put out a lot of videos like this that teach you different aspects of the game. Uh, I create a lot of gameplay content sort of all across the board, anything you can think of Splinterlands. Uh, if that interests you, you're in the right place and it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe. All right, so here's how you get there. You go to this top tab, buy, you normally would. You hit compare. Oh, I was already just here actually. Uh, let me show the normal how it looks. So this is how it normally looks when you come here, right? This is what you're all familiar with. Up here in view mode, if you hit compare, there's a lot of cool stuff you have here that you can uh, play around with, all different ways that you can compare different cards. Here, if you do price at level, you can pick the level you're playing at right it's the league you're playing at so if you're in bronze silver gold or diamond i'm in diamond so i click this if you were in gold you know you'd click here and it would change everything but i'm just going to do this for diamond and what this can now do is you can use filters you have to get pretty specific with the filter so i'm going to go modern you don't want to do this actually because the whole point is to find both of them and i'm just going to go splinter at a time to look for gold foils that are close in cost to their regular foil counterpart. Generally, I found that this is true around um, common cards more so, but it's worth clicking through every one. I typically start one splinter at a time and just go through them quickly. And I basically find the gold. So Venari Heatsmith, right? To get a max level, it's $7.61 get a max gold three dollars to get a regular max level so maybe not worth it it's about double anything within double I'm interested in so I just go through radiated brute oh here's one radiated brute fourteen dollars to max right now for gold it's only 19 right so for five additional dollars you could get a max level radiated brute I don't have enough DEC right now because they're all in liquidity pools, but this would be something I would actually consider pulling the trigger on. Let's see, anything else in fire? Nah, oh, here's one, look at this. For This is an old card too, for the Untamed. For 20 additional dollars right now, you could get a gold goblin fireballer over the regular counterpart. That's pretty insane. 20 additional dollars. Let's just click around here. Let's try Earth real quick. Uh, anything that sticks out. Oh, Venari Knifer, six additional dollars. Venari Scout, uh, nine additional dollars. So a little bit more, but within that double. So this is interesting. I would just go through this tool every once in a while and see if anything sticks out. Just pop around. You're going to have to get a little bit lucky, but who knows? I want to find one where it's cheaper. It does happen. Disintegrator is not a bad one. 44 to 58, so 14 extra dollars to get a max level disintegrator in gold. Same with Scavo. It's only 15 extra dollars. Uh, sorry, not Scavo. Supply Runner. Um... Oh, there's one. Look at this. By using this tool right now. 
you could get a max level battering ram for a little over three hundred dollars in for gold foil max level gold foil a little over 300 if you wanted to get a max level common battering ram it would cost you five hundred thirteen dollars you would actually save two hundred dollars if you went in if you were going to buy a battering ram to get the gold foil I don't have the liquidity to do this right now, but if I did, this would be something I would consider doing for sure. It just goes to show you before you are going to try to buy a specific card, use this tool, come in and see what the price difference is. Maybe it makes sense. I feel like a lot of people view gold cards as sort of like a luxury or which they are They're A lot of times they're super expensive, but they view them as something that's unattainable. Every once in a while, you'll see something like this where it's actually cheaper. So it behooves you to just come in here and check it out. Yeah, so I thought this tool was really cool. This was stuff I would sort of do on my own, and now I don't have to do that anymore. So uh, thank you to Peak Monsters. I think this has actually probably been around for a while, um, but I had never seen it. I had never explored it, so I'm glad they tweeted about it. And yeah, so a little... Um, support for them it's a platform that i use a lot so all right i'm gonna stop it there um again if you learned anything new or enjoy my content it would be awesome if you can like and subscribe i will talk to you soon and see you around the game